Hey, what's up guys? It is Justin here back bringing you the trade day results uh, for the five players I have up. It's that time. It's around 9, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have 50 trade offers uh, on the five players. I think we got Luke Robitaille, we got Taylor Hall, Matthew Shane, Pavel Datsuk, and Jamie Benn. You can see all the amount of trades they have. I have not checked any of them, so you guys could see my or hear my first-hand reactions to all these trades. I have not checked any of them, uh, so we'll see what we get, alright? So the first player we got up is Jamie Benn, the cheapest at least right now. I don't think any of them have bids, do they? No, none of them have bids, so it's going to be trade offers. Let's see what we get, and once again, thank you to whoever sent in trade offers. That means a lot. Helps out the video for sure, and of course, the first one. There could be a lot of troll trades, I'm not exactly sure, but alright, so let's see what we got here. We got Seabrook, we got Giordano, Spezza, and Flurry with... 25,000 coins. Uh, that is a pretty solid deal. I mean, Seabrook, I think he's worth still around 20k uh, with Spezza, Flurry, Giordano. Seems like a pretty even deal. Then we got 37k, Shattenkirk, Evander Kane, and then Miku Koivu. So Jamie Ben goes for around 55 to 60. So Koivu is around, what, 7 to 8k. Evander Kane, 4 to 5k, so you can get about 10k with that. Not a bad deal with Shattenkirk, I'll, I'll be honest. Not too bad. Oh, Oh, Jesus. Clapperton. Reject. Oh, no. I cannot take that. Reject. I don't even know how good that offer is, but don't give me a Clapperton. It's going to be an automatic reject. And people say, oh, why do you hate Clapperton so much? I don't hate Clapperton. I just hate the Clapperton card. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, anyways. Lanskog, Vanek, uh, Assistant Captain, and pl uh, 1,000 coins. Jesus. That got me off track. Uh, no, thank you for that deal. Very solid players, but um, I'm looking for a little bit more value there. Uh, Landeskog plus five all, Koivu, Philpula. Uh, like I said, I'm looking for a little bit more value. I mean, those players are not worth too much. The Koivus and the, the Vanix, they aren't worth too much nowadays. Kessler, Pavelski, and Joe Thornton. All right, so we got a 90 overall here, which I do like. Ryan Kessler, he's not the most expensive one out of all of them, uh, but he's still worth a good chunk of money, like 25 to uh, 25 to 35k at least. With Pavelski and Joe Thornton. Not bad, but Pavelski and Thornton go, don't go for too much, even though they're great players. Uh, but I do like the trade offer. It's not bad, so we'll right trigger it. Then we got this. Once again, there are going to be troll trades in here, so don't. hopefully you don't mind too much. But we got Cromwell, Bufflin, Vlasic, and 2.7k. Uh, lots of defensemen here. Cromwell's, what, 20-something k? Uh, Bufflin worth 10k. He's not worth too much nowadays. Uh, I'm going to say no to this deal, because we got to start rejecting some of these deals. Uh, this one I do like, because I know Seabrook is worth a little bit. Giordano, not always basically quick sell, but Spezza and Flurry together, that's going to add you to at least 10k. And I think Seabrook with it, uh, that's going to give you 55k with that deal for the Jamie Ben. This deal, not bad as well. You get the 37k, but then the three players there, ugh, I like the I like the other deal better, so I'm going to reject that second one. Uh, then we got the Kessler, Pavelski, Thornton. I'm going to reject that as well. I still like the first deal better compared to all of the other ones. Uh, Bergeron, oh, left wing, uh, the, the Blainville. No, I'm not going to take that one. Chris Kunitz and Dracidal. No thanks for that. I think Chris Kunitz is like 20k. Dracidal is not worth too much, even though he's fully boosted for another 9 games. I don't really need him. I know he's only worth like a 1 or 2k player. And boosting him up, it's not really worth anything. Uh, Nazim the Dream, no thanks. We got one more at the back here. Let's see what that is. Krejci, Vanek, Spezza, and Dan Ham. Here's all right. So I will take the 25k Seabrook, Giordano, Spezza, and Flurry deal. Thank you and enjoy your Jamie Ben. Um, I don't really like taking four for one deals, but you know what? It's not too far off from what I'm looking for, so I'll take it. All right. So the next cheapest player would be Pavel Datsuk. I'm pretty excited to check all these guys too, but Pavel Datsuk is the next one. Mr. Magic Man. All right. So we got Claude Giroux. Logan Couture and 2.7k. So Datsu goes for right now around 85k. Drew, I think, still goes for around 75 to 80 with the Logan Couture. So that's a very good solid deal. Jamie Ben back is Oshi 5k. Jamie Ben we know is around 55k. So that compared to the first deal, I do like Giroux. It's a little bit more value than Jamie Ben. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, but then again, we got Luongo, Stahl, Vlasic, and Giordano. A uh, bunch of not that valuable players, so I'm gonna reject that. Anze Kopitar in 25. I think Anze Kopitar is around, what, 50 to 55 right now? With the any injuries, I don't, I don't want that. Uh, the any injuries, at least. You could have just kept them yourself or just quick sold them and give me the pucks. But Anze Kopitar worth around 50, so that's 75k. Not too bad. But when I'm going to compare it with the first deal, 
Anze Kopitar, I'm going to reject. It's kind of sad to say that Anze Kopitar, out of all people, 91 overall, goes for only 50k, which is kind of sucks, but Claude Drew is a very popular player. Bozak, Richards, Callahan, no thank you for that. All those guys around 1 to 2k. Uh, Patrice Bergeron, Scotty Hartnell, and Pominville. I do not know the value of Bergeron, actually. I'm going to think he still dropped a lot in price, just like Kopitar. Not worth too much these days, but I will have to check the market. Uh, then we got Claude Giroux, Eric Johnson. I think it's better than the first deal. Uh, Giroux, Couture, and 2.7. Or Giroux or Johnson. I think I'm going to reject... Ooh, oh, I saw a trade there. I don't know what that was. But Giroux and Couture, I'm going to reject the first one. Because he is on the right wing, and this one is on the center position. It looks like a freshly pulled Giroux, maybe. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but I will keep that trade in the... I guess in the what, whatever you want to call it, the trade offers. Uh, Bergeron, I still think goes for like 70k, not too much. I'm liking the Scotty Hartnell deal as well. Anti Niemi, oh geez. Uh, I think that's the player of the game card, right? He's fully boosted, so I'm gonna guess this guy put a plus five all on him. I'm going to guess, so he's not gonna be worth too much. I'm gonna reject that straight up. I'm not gonna take the chance, even though I might eat, his value might be there. I'm not gonna take that chance. Jack Johnson, Ham Hughes, Warcheck. Hmm. Jack Johnson, worth around 2 to 3k. Voracek, 2 to 3k. With the pucks, though, and Dan Hamhues, you're getting about 20k with Claude Drew. Now, is that worth more than this Drew and the Johnny John? I don't know about that. I think I'm going to reject this deal. Only because I don't really want those three players to sell. So I'm going to reject that for now. But good offer, not bad. Then we got Eric Stahl, Carlson, and Bannock. Eric Stahl, worth around, what, 8k, 9k, Carlson. 40 to 50k at this point. I'm gonna reject that. And the final offer there, I've not seen it. 10k Kopitar Richards and Mike Richards um Movember card. Sorry, I kind of stuttered there, but Kopitar we know is around 50k. Carter around 20, I would think. 15, 20. Uh so you're getting about 65 to 70 with the pucks 80 with Mike Richards. I think that's a more solid deal in both of these. I mean, these guys are good, but uh with these three players, solid players like you got you gotta admit like you got a full line here of los angeles guys with 10k i think that one's better like these ones are not bad uh but the bergeron i'm not exactly sure how much he's worth he could be worth a shit ton but i don't want to prolong this video too long so i'm gonna take this deal out of the three i mean great deal for this one as well Drew, i do like but i know his value is dropping uh, so I would just be selling him anyways. And then this deal, I'm getting the three solid players. I can sell them right away. I think this is worth a little bit more than 85 to 90k. So I will take this for Pavel Dadsuk. Enjoy Mr. Magic Man. And I'll take those three players with the 10k. And uh, we got three players left. Three players left. So Robitaille is now our most expensive player on the trade block. Then we got Taylor Hall. And then Matt Duchesne. I've not checked any of these offers, I promise you guys. Alright, so let's check um, cheapest guy. Probably Taylor Hall right now, right? 150 all right, let's see what we get here. 56k, Kessler, Steen, Jordan, Stahl. I can reject that because I know if I really wanted to, I think I could sell Taylor Hall for an easy 130k if I put him up right now. So I'm going to reject that. That doesn't really add up. Four guys right here. No thanks for that. All those guys are kind of quick sell values in a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to reject the Philpila as well. No thanks for that. 99k, K, Eric Stahl, Semyon Varlamov, Stahl, and Cam Ward. So 99k, so that's basically 100k. Stalls around 8k, Varlamov around 3, 4k. I'm not feeling this deal. I'm not feeling it. I would rather just keep Taylor Hall in my opinion. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Eric Carlson worth around 40k. Jamie Benn around 55, so you're getting about 90. That's still around 100k. I'm looking for a bit more for that. Bishop, I'm not sure how much he's worth. We got 30k there with McDonough, Marlo, Koivu, and Bishop. But am I willing to take this 4 for 1 deal even though it's... I'm not sure if I'm willing to take it. Uh, Bishop, maybe 20 to 30k. 30k, oh, that's the highest end, 30k, I think. Uh, Marlowe, around 15, 20. Maybe 20. Around 20k. 20 to 25. So, I don't want to really calculate this and add it all up. Bishop, 30. Marlowe, maybe 20 to 25. So, you're getting about 55. With the pucks, 85. McDonough, Koivu. No thanks for that. I'm going to reject that straight up. Uh, Jamie Ben. Gabrick, I honestly don't mind keeping Taylor Hall at this point. Uh, not for these trades. I would rather just sell Taylor Hall for 130 if anything. But 65k with Jamie Ben, you're getting about 1, 120, 120, 120 with Gabrick. So you're getting about 125. Not bad. 
Then we got a Gabrick, Latang, Carter, and Vanek. I can reject that straight up. A lot of Los Angeles guys, but this is the leading offer with 120 to 125k. I'm not sure if I want to sell Taylor Hall for that, honestly. I think I might just keep him rejected. Maybe someone will send in a counter offer. We'll see a bit later. But uh, no offers that I want to take for Taylor Hall, unfortunately. I'm sorry if you guys send in trades for that. But let's go on to Matthew Shane, the second uh, most expensive guy on our trade block right now. And we got Corey Perry. I think he's still worth a good 160, 170, right? So I will delay it. Uh, we got 25K, Spezza, Carlson, Giordano, and Burnsy Boy. Hmm. Uh, no thanks for that. Uh, none of those players are worth too much, but I do like the Corey Perry. 92 overall. Where <laughs> fuck the black guy? Fuck off. Fuck off. God damn it. Jesus. I won't hear the end of that in the comments. God damn it. Alright. Couture, Hedman, Patriotty, and Bufflin. Um, Couture, Bufflin, Patriotty, Bufflin. Uh, Couture, Hedman, Patriotty, Bufflin. Yeah, I, I don't want to take that deal. No thanks for that. I would rather take the Corey Perry straight up. Smith, Patrady, Richards, Ham Hughes, no thanks. Um, let's see what else we got here. Habby Boulin, Bissonnette, Lindo, and Portland, Winterhawks. Pretty close, man. Pretty close. Habby Boulin got me interested, but the Lindo, not so much, man. All right, so Datsuk, Carlson, and Sharp. Pretty, pretty, that's pretty solid. Uh, Drew Doughty, I, I'm not sure how much he's worth anymore, but I don't think he's worth 100k still. With Kessler, no thanks for that. I'm going to reject that. Uh, we got a couple more offers here. AK... Wait, Mike Medano. Mike Medano here with 8K and Bishop. <laughs> Wait, is Mike, Med is Mike Medano not worth a crap ton? I'm not sure. I mean, he is only 88 overall, so I have to check the value. But uh, I want to quickly check this right now because I'm not exactly sure. But it seems like, you know what, Mike Medano might be worth quite a bit. Let me just quickly check it and show you guys. But Legends here. If, that, if anything, that is a steal, I think... I'm not exactly sure. I think he's on Dallas, right? Mike Medano. I mean, that's where he pl played most of his seasons. Uh, no, maybe maybe not. Uh, maybe just I'll just check Legends and Centerman, right? See what we see here. Let's see what we see on Mike Medano. There's Lindros, Gilmore. I want to pick up a Gilmore for sure. Sakic, Lindros. Ooh, 6'4", 240 pounds. That is a player you want to pick up and boost, <laughs> in my opinion. Same with Lemieux. He was great last year. I don't see any Mike Medanos. I don't see any. I'm pretty sure he's a Centerman from... All the videos I've seen of him. Uh, I will quickly check if he is. But other than that, I think Mike Medano is worth a crap ton. Compared to Duchesne at least. I don't know. Let me double check here. Corey Perry, I think is worth around the same value as Duchesne. Then we got... Oop, it froze there for a sec. This deal, pretty good as well. You get about 85k with Carlson. Sharp, you know what? I can reject that straight up. I would rather take the Corey Perry. Uh, and then we got the AK. Mike Medano, yeah, he is a centerman on Dallas. So I don't know what... I, why I couldn't find any of him. Maybe there's just none in the market. Then Taylor Hall, we got him back. I don't really need a Taylor Hall back uh, when I'm just selling one. I think I'm going to take a shot at the Mike Medano. Like his stats, 92, 91, 90. Pretty similar to Matt Duchesne. But he's also giving me AK and Bishop. Like, I don't think I can go wrong with that. And it's a legend card. Fuck. Legend card. Can't go wrong with legend card. So I'll take that. And I want to kind of see what his value is right now. If I can find a Mike Medano. <laughs> Alright, alright, all right. now you guys know how much he's worth. Whoever sent that in, Jesus Christ. Man, you are crazy. You are a crazy man. Or you either really love Mike Medano or else you don't didn't know Mike Medano's value. But that's insane. God damn it. Thank you to whoever sent that in. Mike Medano. Oh, imagine if you play with Luke Robitaille on the same line. Man, I need to create a Legends line for sure. But I don't know. Lennon, uh, 3.6k. We're going to reject that straight up. Alexander Steen, we're going to reject that straight up. Uh, those are just troll traits, kind of. Kadri, Bodker, Camilleri, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lur, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine Pucks. Uh, McCann, Deardin, uh, Deardin, I don't know how to say his name. Jokinen and Daniel Alfredson, without even a contract. God damn it. Reject that. Uh, uh, what? 230,000. I thought that was 23,000 for a second. So that's 230,000, which is the starting price of Luke Robitaille. And those four players. Are you serious? I think I know who sent that in too. I think he knows as well. I'm pretty sure that's him. Five hundred. Ooh, Dougie Ham. Oh, he must be boosted. There's no way. Yeah, four boosts in Dougie Hamilton. I'm only gonna think he's only 86 overall. But Claude Giroux, Thornton, Hamilton, Carlson. I think 
I think this is the leading offer. I, I think I know who sent this in as well. He told me to look out for this deal. He sent something on Luke Robitaille. He told me to get excited for it. But Jesus Christ. 230,000 coins. Victor Hedman, Yandel, Burns, and Bufflin. We just got the Mike Medano. And then he gives me a salt. Like, he's giving me more than what Robitaille is worth by far. But anyways, that's the same with Mike Medano trade. But thank you so much. Uh, I'm not, I don't remember exactly your name, uh, but you know who you are, alright? So accept this offer, and that's it for this trade day. Holy crap, that was mega successful. I want to thank everybody who participated or even watched this uh, video. Thank you so much for watching, but Jesus. Mike Medano, definitely the highlight of this trade. I don't know who sent that in. We also got a highlight, basically a donation, uh, with the Luke Robitaille deal. God damn it, that's going to help out Hot Roulette a ton. And if you actually look at it, uh, Mike Medano worth 400000 maybe? That's crazy. That's crazy. And the rest of those players. We're, I think we might be at a mill. That's going to help out all my series out by a ton. So thank you guys so much. I wasn't really looking for a donation. Like I said, I wasn't looking for a donation. But if you guys sent it in, I mean, I wanted to do fair trades just to kind of get it get some trading going you know have a little bit of trading a little bit of negotiating there but if you guys just send donations at this point i might have to uh make it a bit harder or at least put a buy now so you can't send in more bucks than uh his starting price right and get those really fair trades going in but anyways thank you guys for, for watching we're around 15 16 minutes for this video which is just good enough for this video and a pretty exciting one as well Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you to whoever sent in those offers. Very, very great. And maybe I'll do another one soon. You guys let me know what uh, players you would like to see individually up on my trade block. And uh, maybe I'll throw in something that you guys suggest in the comment box below. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And thank you guys so much for the trades and everything. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Jesus Christ, guys. Look at this team. It's actually filthy. Uh, our first line's looking really well. It played really well for us last game. And our second, third, fourth line, it really does compete against most teams. And now with our goalie in there, Henrik Lundqvist, I bought the cheap.